Could the A-10 Warthog, aka Tank Killer, get rebooted as a stealth tank killer? For the A-10 to become stealthy, it must be difficult to spot by J-band radars and have a low infrared signature that heat-seeking missiles can't bypass. The engines are placed on top, and the exhaust flows over the tail, diffusing its heat signature. Unlike the A-10, a stealth version is likely to keep the engines mounted high and make sure they aren't visible. To avoid detection by radar, they must be flush against a fuselage and have an intake that hides the engine blades. An A-10 stealth replacement could look like the General Atomics MQ-20 Avenger UAV, just add a cockpit, of course. The A-14B Equalizer is an excellent concept for an upgraded stealthy A-10, but the engines aren't that stealthy compared to the ones I explained before. Other than that, the A-14B design works wonderfully for delivering weapons. Unlike other stealth aircraft, the A-10 stores its arsenal of weapons on the outside of the fuselage. A large weapons bay is required for a stealthy A-10, since we would like it to carry at least 8 GBU-39 small diameter bombs. These precision-guided glide bombs have a much greater range than the A-10's Maverick missiles. We must change the engine configuration given to the A-14B, because having such engine intakes would make it harder to fit a large bay for bombs and missiles.